Hey everybody, Design Super Paul Games, and welcome back to Wasteland. Oh, get out of my way! Wasteland, get out of my way! <laughs> Two. Just trying to grab this guy so he can get some stuff. We're here in the prison area. Negotiating with the Red Scorpions. By negotiating, I mean we're shooting everybody we can on sight. Pretty sure that's what General Vargas meant, right? Close enough. Oh, this is the farm they were talking about, well, I think. These folks are living high on the hog. What's the deal? Hungry. Something doesn't smell right. <laughs> Who the fuck just ran up there? A round-faced old fellow in a plaid shirt and denim overalls. He looks like he's every child's favorite grandpa. Everything this guy is wearing is awfully clean, and so are his hands. No dirt under his nails, and no calluses on his palms. Well, that's how you know he doesn't actually work on the farm if he's got no calluses. You also know he don't play guitar. Hiya, folks! Welcome to A. Werther Farms. I'm Jim A. Werther. Feel free to look around. The RSM said potential homesteaders would be dropping by now and then to see how good life could be in Happy Valley. Just uh, don't bother the field hands. They're too busy to talk. We're the field hands. It's a sad fact that some of the local farmers around here just couldn't make a go of it. Well, I couldn't stand to see them go to rack and ruin, so I hired them to do chores around my place. Just until they can get back on their feet, pay it forward. That's my motto. Everyone says you're an asshole, though. What is Happy Valley? Well, it ain't exactly happy yet, I'll allow that. But it's, uh, early days yet. Things can turn around here, living proof. What about Scrip? That's what everyone says you pay them in. I don't understand. What's the RSM? RSM Enterprises, they're the nice folks who are turning this dusty old backwater into a thriving farming community. I couldn't have got this farm up and running without them. Bye now. Hope you enjoy your stay. Oh, that was Chisel that ran up. Hungry. Freighter can't talk. I'm on duty. He said duty. Look up for Raiders. No time to talk. Why are there so many armed guys here? Are those guys protecting the place? Or making sure nobody runs away? I wanted the exact same thing, Angie. Oh, them's the pigs. Oh, and there's some pig shit. That guy said that there'd be a WB brand on him. Don't mind us. We're just kicking down your fence. Oh, shit. There go the pigs. Well, I hope they were the right ones that that other farmer had taken from because of the pig tax. I just wanted your pig shit. I wasn't going to touch the pigs. They're going to feel real stupid when they figure out why we were really doing it. Oh, nice shot, Angie. Oh, no! Grenade! They got a lot of people working here. If they took like half these guards and had them farm, man, they'd have less of a problem. I mean, the dog's probably not gonna farm for them, but. Alright, Billy. Billy Balls coming at ya! have to womp on this guy. Shit, why don't we send... Let's send Chisel all the way over here. That way if the grenade guy wants to throw a grenade, he's gonna blow up my friend too. Oh shit! That ain't good! This is more guarded than anywhere else we've run into so far. Who the hell is that guy in a Is he wearing a suit? Oh, that's the farmer. Ah, 
Not anymore. <laughs> They're probably bigger targets. But Vash doesn't put it up with that asshole. She's like, I don't like it. He's a dick. All right, Vulture. We gotta get rid of this guy here. He's got that. Those heavy machine gun guys are bad news. Hate to do it, but we gotta put you down, Fido. Oh shit, it didn't work. Oh, that poor farmhand! He got blown up by that guy with a weak arm. That was a good throw, unfortunately. You leave my friend alone! Oh, Billy Ball's doing everything he can to back up Angie. Um, fuck. Let's chisel him. Alright, we're gonna move. We're gonna take a risk. We're gonna put Devo all the way next to this guy because this guy will probably try and run away from him. And then we're gonna move. Oh wait, no, that was yeah, Devo by that guy. Then we're gonna put Chisel by this guy. Chisel's not gonna run away from. Him. I mean, the foreman with the heavy machine gun will. Oh, he shot his own friend. Oh, that's not good. Oh, he's like right in my pecker. <laughs> uh, Angie, we gotta get. Where is Chrissy? Chrissy's back there. Let's get you back here so Chrissy can work on you. You got the best shot at. Probably this dweeb. Good, that guy's a sniper. Get that long range guy out of our concern. Um, some cover and. Oh, she can't heal anybody. She's overweight because she's carrying too much garbage. We're just gonna put her in ambush. Ah, that didn't help. So far, this guy's arm has been very weak. Oh. That's not good. Angie's bleeding out now. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ooh, good shooting my Billy. Diva, you gotta finish these guys off. Ooh, nice. Nice hit. Hopefully Chisel can... Oh, no! Well, we lost control of Chisel because he doesn't like to listen to orders. It worked out, though. Good job, Chisel. Ass grenade dudes. Alright, you got one. Chrissy, can you? We need a trauma kit. Use that on Angie. Try and save her before she bleeds out and dies. Ain't no cover there. Fuck it. Billy Balls is going for it. Who else is left to fight? Oh, that guy back there. Devo's going in like a hero. Chisel right behind him. Ha <laughs> ha! 
that one guy is like, save me, Gavin! Didn't you... Oh, she's still doing the medic shit. Alright, that was a little bit close. I could, my plan was not to come in here murder hobo everybody. At least not without looking around first. But that's kind of what happened. We were just trying to get some pig shit. And hopefully that one uh, farmer's got his pigs back now. Oh wait, there's somebody back here. I, I was just looking at people. Who? I'm not. Oh, Rangers! Uh, thank God! Where are you, Job? You can tell he was a big man once, with broad shoulders and strong hands. Now he's a scarecrow, bent and withered from hunger, with a shaggy beard framing a face made old much too soon. You got my pigeon finally! I've been sending them to Ranger Citadel for weeks! Are you here to kill that psycho Danforth? Can you get me back my farm? Where's your farm, buddy? Right here, this is my farm! This is my land! These are my pigeons! Fucking red scorpions are RSM Enterprises as they call themselves these days. Stole it from me! Security taxes, cow license fee, weed allergy fund. They kept chipping away at me until I couldn't pay anymore. Then this farmer Jim guy came in and offered to buy it from me and bring me on as an overseer. Well, what could I do? I took the deal, I've been regretting it ever since. I was hoping you could get rid of Danforth so I could get my farm back. But hell, you sure did make a mess around here. Might be messy, but it looks like the farm's yours now, ain't it? How stupid are you? Danforth will send more scorpions, damn it! This is a fine mess you gotten me into. Uh, you better get into that prison now and get Danforth. What have you been regretting, bitch? The price farmer Jim paid me was just enough to clear my debt to the scorpions, but not enough for me to leave. So I started working for him, but he pays the script, and never enough for me to save up. I'm a slave on my own farm, and there's no escape. And unless you run the scorpions out of town, I remember what the rangers can do. What do you remember about the rangers, friend? I was a kid when you guys had your headquarters here, and I always loved to watch you head out on those patrols. You were heroes to me. I, I want you to be heroes to the town now and save these people from Danforth and his scorpions. You got to get rid of the prison of them. It was Farmer Jim. I don't know who he was. Somebody said he was the brother or uncle or command or uncle of Commander Danforth, leader of the Red Scorpions. That's the guy we just shot. Not not Danforth, but I think Jim. Well, whoever he was doesn't have to pay any pig taxes or feed transportation tariffs. The kindly old man act was bullshit too. He might not have beat us, but he sure as hell ordered the foreman to beat us. I don't mind he's dead, but I hear Danforth's wrath now. Or I fear it now when he uh, learns what you did. Why do you want us to kill Danforth? Didn't you read the note I said? His scorpions are taking over every farm in the prison area and making slaves out of the people who used to own them. You gotta stop him. You have to get our farms back. You were a slave? They called us employees, but that was bullshit. They used all their tax scams to make sure we were all deep in debt to them. Then paid us the script. That we can only spend at the company's store and everything that is so expensive that we spend all our pay just to get enough food and water to survive. There's no way any of us will ever be able to pay off that debt. And those four men were nothing but prison guards. It looked like it. They stopped us if we tried to escape. They even tried to kill some of us and they did. What about the foreman? <laughs> they were nothing but scorpions with straw hats on. Well, they used to be. Fuck! What script? It's fake money. A way to make sure we don't escape. We can only spend it at the general store. It's no good anywhere else. And the exchange rate for real money is uh, pathetic. Ugh. What about the scorpions? I didn't mind them so much when they were raiders. They'd come and steal a cow now and then, every now and then. Then go away and get drunk. I could deal with that. Now that Danforth is taking over his leader, they want to own us. They stole our entire lives. You gotta stop them. Well, our murder You're hobo ways a lot, brother. have excellently helped. Ooh. 
Let's disarm this alarm! Which is the opposite of what we normally do. Normally we trip every damn alarm we run into. Let's see if she can crack that safe. It's only a 28% chance for that. Come on, girl! I want to steal what's in the... I mean, liberate it for use of the rangers! And she broke it. Christy, can you fix that? She used her gorilla hands to just rip the dial as she was trying to turn it. No, fix it! One of the concerns, too, is we're carrying way too much stuff. We need to, like, sell some of this stuff or dump it off somewhere. Alright, so we fixed it. Now we can try and unlock it again. I might run back somewhere and sell everything and then come right back here. Just do it off screen. Save some time. Open that! I want it! Probably gonna be a whole lot of nothing in there. And she broke it permanently. We just got a radio call from the commander. Ranger Team Echo! That's from General Vargas. This is uh, Ranger Command. Come in, over. Go ahead, Commander. 10-4 Echo 1, listen, some locals up near our remote radio tower say they saw some things attacking it, surrounded like robots to me. May, might be another of those synths that killed Ace. Head back there and see if you can capture it alive, but be careful. Anything that could kill Ace is going to be easy. Isn't going to be easy. Copy? 10-4 Echo 1, command, Ranger Command, uh, out. Yeah, w w we can't rush to do that. We're just... We're still working on the prison area, coach! The wolf's lair. This looks a little messed up. They were talking about slavery earlier. Ooh, we'll take this med shit. Hell yeah. Um. Hi? Hi, Becky. I don't know you. Fritz? Oh, let's see. That is trapped. Mommy will save me. I know she will. Mommy will save me. We're going to try and get y'all out. i got to be careful that they're not alarmed and they're hopefully not booby-trapped because I don't want to blow any... Come on, Chrissy. you got to show everyone that you can disarm this crap. Wow, we can't get into there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Don't touch anything. They are alarmed. Do not blow this vag. <laughs> it would be funnier if I named her Dick. Do not blow this dick! Alright, let's... Just in case there's any kind of other booby trap, we're going to turn the alarms off on all these cells. And then we're going to try and get these people out. Deal, keep going. That's another one. If you wonder where we are, we're just right here. That was the shortcut to the prison. That's the north way up. We're going to come back down here and visit that farm too, because since we let those pigs go. Hopefully the pigs made it safely back to the farmer. He said they would. Who knows if they did or not, though. Bad dog I own. Wait, what's it say? Bad dog I own. Dunkor? Fuck? Alright, let's unlock these. You're gonna be free, buddy. Don't worry. Oh, that person might be dead. There are scars and burns all over this woman's arms. It looks like someone's been using her as an ashtray. What an asshole. Free? I... Is he dead? Who's he? The bastard who did this to us. He calls himself Pitbull. He, Bull. He must die. Is he dead? I don't... I don't know. Maybe we killed a bunch of people. I didn't check out names. I'll find him. If he isn't, he'll wish he was dead. I think we might have killed him? <laughs> like, I don't know. 
If we kept names, there'd be paperwork for days. Hurry, Becky, run! Well, hopefully she'll get her vengeance. You're welcome, Fritz. I didn't think he was going to get up for a moment. He left her face alone. It is beautiful, but without any blood, it's the color of a marble statue covered with flies. Where the hell is this dipshit that killed everybody? We might have murdered him already. I didn't see which way they all went. If they went this way, to the north, we've already cleared the north out. We might have killed him. He might have been at the farm or somewhere else. Ooh, let's break this thing. Break it! Oh, no. Honey badger. But we gotta look at what's in that rock. Oh, we got that, too. Uh, just go on ambush. Let, let it come to us. Bring it, honey badger. Man, good shot. And we scratched the hide, and you got no... Oh, you don't have enough action points. My bad. I forgot that was one of our snipers. Sweet! I feel bad that we didn't... I'm gonna give myself closure. I am sure we killed Pitbull, most likely. Because <laughs> we killed all those guys back there because we didn't want to pay our taxes and then it just it steamrolled into something bigger and bigger. Ooh, a monument! An obelisk. Carved in the obelisk are the words, here once and forgotten since. Ooh, everybody gets a free skill point. I do like that. Wait, did Billy dig up the ship pile back here? Oh yeah, we did. How did I forget that? I'm getting too old. I don't remember. Who am I? Super Earl Games? <laughs> Who the hell is this dude? Red Scorpius came for us yesterday morning. I knew there weren't no point arguing. She was always headstrong. Oh, they killed your woman? They told us they... Oh, <sighs> They told us we had to pay an untilled field tax. She asked how we could till the field when they'd taken our plow for not paying our property insurance. At first they thought she was funny. Crazy woman screaming at a gang of armed men. I just stayed inside and prayed. Then she started calling them... Oh, then she started calling their taxes what they really are. Protection money, extortion, daylight robbery. That shamed them so they gunned her down. While all I did was stand and watch. What do you mean, property insurance? Just another name for protection money. They're driving us into the ground, and with me and Nessie, they succeeded. Why are you working the ground there? I rather dig two great. Rather than dig two graves, I thought I'd dig one big one and crawl in with her. Wow, life sucks here. What's the untilled tilled field tax? They say it's a fine for farmers who've been unproductive. It's really just another way for them to steal poor farmers. Or his poor farms to give them to their friends like Jim, that slaver. Well, Jim's dead. Who is he? Some friend of the Scorpions who they set up with a fake farm. They want potential homesteaders to see it and think they'll have one just like it if they move here. What a joke. All they'll be doing is working on Big Jim's farm like all the other slaves. Ain't nothing but a honey trap. Who's she? My wife, Nessie. The woman I never deserved. I'm sorry to hear that, More friend. Misery. This whole area has gone to hell. Ooh. It's not gonna work on this thing. It's way too broken. Oh man, that would have been cool. Well, if you're gonna kill yourself, buddy, you probably don't need what's ever in here. I'll leave him with it in case he changes his mind. I probably ought to take the ammunition so he don't shoot himself. Ooh, water! Who, what, who's this guy? Or lady? Celia? Something or other. Look, old people. I don't <laughs> like old people. Reminds me of me. Chisel, be polite. An old woman looks to you with a tired and frustrated look in her eyes. 
Dude, Marco's too damn lazy to fix the well. So we ain't got no water. Pump, red scorpions ain't gonna help. He said that weren't a problem. He took the drink and squeezes instead. Over there in his man cave, as he calls it. Can't drink in peace no more with a harpy screeching at me! Don't the red scorpions take care of things? <laughs> they put people in prison and make them slaves. Uh, they took our crops, took our equipment. Any day now, they'll take the farm too. The price of law and order, they calls it. I call it murder by inches. They hung old George on that topple tower to remind us of what happens when we break their laws. What law did George break? Oh, just the one about curiosity and the cat. Uh, he asked him why we had to follow their laws. That was their answer. We follow their laws as best we can now. Wish we'd had to get up and go. I wish we had to get up and go to move to DeMonta. But that ain't gonna happen. Your well's broken? Unless you can sober my husband up and turn his hand to mechanic in. I need somebody to look at that well. We're low on water. I don't care to join Marco in his bottle of squeezins. We're, uh, okay, I'll fix this for you, lady. Uh, who's got mechanical skill? Chrissy, can you fix it? At least we can do some good here while we're dicking around. Whoa! She fixed it big time. Now we can use it. Gurgle, gurgle. Nobody tells the Navy, man. Well, there you go, Celia. Bless you. Oh, maybe now that you fixed your well, you try your hand at fixing them red scorpions. If so, then I got a proper tool for you. Here, Marco's too drunk to shoot the dang thing anyway. Damn it, women, I was gonna trade that gun for squeezes. Thanks, ma'am. I think for the moment we're gonna stick with what we got. That that may change, but it's nice of her to give it to us. Very least we can sell it if we need to. Oh, that must be George there they were talking about. Just hanging around. You know George. Oh, that ain't good. <laughs> Our team is just like fuck minefields. Somebody got a vehicle that's working? Oh, that was just a texture that wasn't supposed to be there. Oh, I thought it foreshadowed something cool, like somebody was driving a vehicle. In Wasteland 3, there's supposed to be vehicles you can use. I cannot wait for that to come up. Prison! Out. Think... The bad man's home away from home. Too bad it's a clubhouse for jerks now. Finally, here we are. I guess that's the prison that's the old headquarters. Oh, he's got some drugs. Don't mind if we do. They've got to be mines around here. That's like the mine sign. One more step, Rangers. Take just one more step. I'm begging you. That's step. Here's a few more. How many more you need? You know, rather than go through there, can we talk to him? Please, cross that line of white stones, Rangers. I've been waiting all my life to see you sanctimonious butchers turned into fine red mist. Aye, who is I? You know who this is, Rangers. I'm your worst nightmare. A wastelander who can beat you at your own game. Commander Danforth, at your service. Alright, if you're gonna service me, then turn off your turrets. Glad you recognize us. Now let us in, bitch! Sure, come ahead. I'll give you the same chance you assholes give unarmed children. Go on. Take that step. Aw, oh, leaving so soon? I didn't say we were leaving. Mobility systems offline. Sensors have detected a missing part. Mobility systems cannot engage until missing part is replaced. Please replace part TL. Whatever. Tank tread. Only genuine Finley parts. Can, uh, who's good at mechanic shit? Chrissy, can you fix this without one? No, we don't have any treads. Alright, that's very anticlimactic, dude. You're like, take one. Oh, there's guns. They got a lot of oh, 4,000 hit points. <sighs> um. That's not good. Oh, God. Oh. 
What the? Oh, everybody's dying. Holy fuck. Chisel's still alive! Run away, Chisel! Oh. Game over. Man! There's gotta be something else we're supposed to do there, because otherwise that's a ridiculous difficulty um, curve spike. I guess that means we gotta get back to Ranger Citadel to talk with that guy that Red mentioned about getting a radiation suit so we can head further east to find Del Monte. Yeah. Man, I wanted to get into that prison. A traveling vendor? Ah, they're not going to have what we need. Either way, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for hanging out. Next time, probably I'll meet you at the Ranger Citadel. Have a good day, everybody.